Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been way too long. I feel so awkward even filming, but um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you know that I was talking about how this school year has just been, it's been exhausting. It's a great year, which is interesting, but I just feel exhausted and my weekends, which is usually when I have time to film, I have just been grading or catching up on stuff at home or just trying to spend time with my husband. And so unfortunately, I haven't gotten the chance to film um, as many videos as I would like. But there's a few things that I want to address really quickly before we get into the reason why you clicked this video. Uh, but one, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I am blown away by how many people have commented, have said something positive, have been able to relate, have found them helpful. I, again, like I've said in other videos, I'm just sharing what I know and what my experience my experiences have been and I just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported me and then in return it has encouraged me to make more content that you find helpful I don't and um that's pretty much it I just wanted to say that because I there's no way that I could get on here and act like I didn't just gain over 5,000 followers out of nowhere like that is huge and so I want to say thank you to everyone um who has clicked the subscribe button, who has liked my videos, and who writes comments. Like that is, it's, again, it's an amazing feeling. But let's get into this video. The reason why you clicked it um, is because I put together a bunch of looks that I like to wear for work. Now some of these pieces I have recycled because if I'm being honest, I can't buy work clothes every week every month and so a lot of the items that you're gonna see in this video I have already worn but I'm wearing them differently so that you can see again if you've followed me for a while already you know that I'm all about minimalistic work outfit ideas and so being able to recycle the same pieces but wear them differently is all that I'm about um, because Buying work clothes can get really expensive and just learning different ways to swap pieces around is really going to save your pocket and just save your mind from always having to think of different things to wear to work. So let's get into this video. What I'm going to do is show you the items here so I can talk about them and then on this side or maybe this side, I will also show you the pieces on. I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. but it'll work out. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about are sweaters. And so in my previous work outfit video, I don't remember the title, I spoke about how I loved wearing sweaters and that is still true. So the first sweater that you're actually going to see is this one and it is this beautiful cream colored sweater. It is from Zara and I did kind of mess up on the sizing. I wanted it to be oversized so I bought a medium and it is ginormous. I, I'm digging the style but I'm pretty sure that even if I would have purchased a small it would have fit me oversized and I would have been fine. So keep that in mind if you are going to purchase this and it's currently on sale for $20 and this sweater is so well made. It's so thick. You know how sometimes certain sweaters they catch like fuzzies on them depending on like how they're made. This one doesn't do that. I love it. It has like a really minor um, like design going down the middle and I believe that they have it in this cream color and they also have it in black. But I have been wearing this sweater like there is no tomorrow. I wear it with jeans. Um, in this outfit you're going to see that I wore it with my plaid pants that you all have seen so many times and I will not retire these pants. I love them so much. If I'm being totally honest, they're getting a little small on me. Your girl gained in weight and I need a bigger size. But for the meantime, I'm gonna rock them. I love how I did it with this outfit, the plaid pants, which are more of like the gray and then to put the cream on. I love the contrast with the like patent leather belt and then my shoes were patent leather. I just, I wore that outfit maybe two weeks ago and I was like, okay, let me take a picture because I need to wear this over and over and over again. I just love the combo of the chunky sweater with the pattern on the bottom, my fave. 
So definitely get yourself some nice, comfy sweaters. Nothing too bulky or chunky because I think then it, if it leans too casual, but definitely want to get yourself a nice sweater. Um, and again, this one I got from Zara. The next outfit that you're going to see is also a sweater outfit. I don't have it with me. I must have left it in my room. But you all have seen this sweater because I purchased it in my Come Shopping With Me uh, video. And that sweater is from Forever 21. Here's just another way that I like to wear sweaters where the pattern is opposite, right? The pattern is the shirt. So I put on plain black pants. I tuck it in just a little bit. I put a belt. Um, just because I feel like it needs a belt and then putting on like a little tiny like kitten heel I know some people are like no no like Fashion no no, but you know you work at a school like you don't New York sirens Probably classic in every New Yorkers video. I feel like the kitten heel is cute. I don't know. I I think it's nice, especially if you're wearing one that has like a pointed toe because it does dress it up. Uh, if you're gonna do a round toe in a kitten heel, then it's a little grandma-ish, I get it. But if you find one that has a really pretty pointed toe or even like a patent leather one, and then you throw it on with like the sweater, the, the slacks, you have to wear slacks. Don't wear a sweater and then try to get away with like jean black pants. Like no, it has to be slacks in order for it to still look slightly professional if you're gonna wear a sweater and again I like that combo it's easy it's a lazy outfit idea um, and it still looks cute and again we all have sweaters that we wear every winter and you can wear those to work depending on how um, casual your work attire is now here is another outfit idea that you have seen again in previous videos because I stick to the same thing but it is the all black wearing the all black but then throwing a pattern on top lately i have been so into plaids and stripes i have no idea what it is actually i do think i know ever since i dyed my hair darker i just feel like my solid clothes were just too boring and too plain and uh my blonde hair was almost like my accessory and so i could kind of just like rock the blonde and leave everything else plain but now that my hair is darker i feel like I need pattern which is interesting because I was never really a pattern kind of girl wearing the all black with the blazer that cute blazer which is from forever 21 I like that it's cropped because a lot of my pants are high-waisted and so it's like the high-waisted pant and the crop jacket meet at the perfect um, at the perfect location and then I also threw on this like little blazer sleeveless thingy um, which you have also seen in my come shopping with me so I wanted you guys to see how I would wear it usually it would just be an all black usually with a turtleneck and then throw this over and it's really really pretty really cute you can't even purchase like I or I could because not like you guys have the exact same one but I could purchase even like a burgundy or more of like a purple a turtleneck because that's the color that's inside of this plaid and then that would really pop and look really pretty but either way all black and then throwing on a pattern over I personally like that style and it does switch it up so that it's like you wore that already you wore that already it's like oh but now you throw on something extra and it just changes up the entire dynamic of the outfit now something else that I want to talk about that you're about to see in uh, the next clip are jumpsuits now I have a love-hate relationship with jumpsuits for work one the reason why I love them is because it is a no-brainer grab the jumpsuit throw it on throw on some cute boots and stockings and you are out the door what I hate about jumpsuits is the fact that you have to literally get completely undressed every single time you have to go to the bathroom it's my biggest gripe with wearing jumpsuits they are so cute but oh my god, if you are someone like me who has to use the restroom at least four or five times a day, you will be so annoyed by the end of the day. But the jumpsuit that I am showing you guys, because I think they are worth talking about if you don't mind wearing jumpsuits for work, um, is this one from Forever 21. It's actually inside out. How cute. <laughs> Let me take the sleeve out so you guys can see. But it's this jumpsuit from Forever 21. I love that it has like the orange and white stripe and it goes on the sleeve and also on the side of the pants. And then it has like a little tie on the waist. I love that it fits like almost a little boxy on top and then it kind of like um, just goes straight leg down. 
And what you'll also notice is so many times people will not wear their like summer or their fall jumpsuits because it's colder out. But if you throw on a pair of stockings, if you throw on a pair of leggings underneath and high boots, you can totally still rock the same jumpsuit, a pair of like um, pantyhose in black. And so that's what you see in the video. And I threw them on with patent leather boots, which are also from Forever 21. And I love the way that outfit looks. And again, it was just so easy. I grabbed it, I threw it on, and I'm out the door. I don't have to think about finding pieces that match. Makes it so, so easy. But if you got to go to the bathroom, good luck. Now the next outfit that I want to show you guys, and I believe that this one is my last outfit. And the reason why I wanted to show you it is also because you have seen these pants in previous videos. It, they are my blue culotte pants. They're like a chino material, uh, but they are really, really wide at the bottom and they're also high water. Well, my students make fun of me for them, but I think they're cute, so I keep wearing them. So what I did here was I threw on this pattern shirt is this one right here. And first of all, this pattern is beautiful. It I love the colors because the colors are very fall appropriate. It has the blues, the yellows, the oranges, the navy. It's really, really pretty and also so affordable. I believe this was maybe like $14 and it feels so nice. And when you click the category um, on H&M, there's like a row of different shirts that you can purchase that are around the same price, just all with different patterns. By the time I purchased this one, the other ones were like sold out, but this was the only one that I could get my hands on and I really wish that they weren't sold out because I like the way the shirt feels. It's really oversized as you'll see in the video. And so, and because it's really long, I can tuck it in, pull it out just enough so that it, like my entire rear end is not exposed. And then um, I really like that the pants come up really high and again, I wore stockings. Stockings or really high socks. The style I personally think is really cute. And then again, you can still wear your spring pants, but as long as you are covering your legs so that you're not freezing, and then a pair of high boots. I really like that combo. So I wanted to show you guys that in this video because I thought that it was worth mentioning that you don't have to buy new pants every time the season changes, depending on the material, yes. So I hope that you guys like this video. This is pretty much how we get ready for work. Um, the way that I style my outfits, simple. Something is always black in my wardrobe or like solid. And then now lately, I've been popping in some patterns. Who would have thought? Um, oh, and also before I go, I really wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing now. I'm obsessed. This is from Zara. So it is a plaid sweatsuit outfit. Like it almost feels like pajamas. So this is plaid, but it's so soft. And like the sleeves are really long and then also it's like it's a sweatsuit so it ties and like here are the pants this is like the most awkward like position ever but it's it's like so comfortable so cute again throw this on with a pair of boots this is pretty much what I'm wearing today and I am out the door so if you guys can find this at Zara I would definitely recommend it um, it's so it's stretchy like it's literally plaid designed sweat outfit like it's it's so cute, so, so cute. So I wanted to share that with you guys because this is not something, again, I'd wear to work, but it is something that I'd wear out with friends, have a good time, maybe holidays this year. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some really cool ideas as far as how to match things for work and keep a look